Hi guys, how are you doing? It's your Alina and this is Simply My Views. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Thank you so much for staying here. Thank you if this is your first time here. We welcome you. Well, I must say I struggled a lot to shoot this video. I've been away for, from YouTube for a while, I think seven months or so. And I almost forgot the challenges of shooting a video. So, you know, I've, I've had my own. This is not like me crying about it. I'm just telling you that, you know, apart from already not having equipment or a skill, despite the fact that I'm always trying to learn new things, uh, there's that thing where you want to say something, but you don't have the energy. Or when you finally get the energy, the lighting is not lighting, you know, like now I'm just shooting standing because I spent an hour looking for sitting angles because I was like, this is a serious topic. This is a serious topic. I want to sit down for it. Hey, I didn't get the sitting spot. So only when the ring light is this high up, I have at least better lighting. So that aside, thank you guys. And this is like the one thing I want to talk about just when I got, when I got back. I'm just getting back. We are just getting started. We have so much to to speak about. We have so much to do this year. So this is something not only did I observe, I've also experienced it and I've been entrusted with other people's story who have um who have um approached me and confided in me. For that reason, I will be saying this literally based on facts. Uh, because that's a fact. Maybe I'll get the, the statistics wrong, but it is really happening. And also, I would I would use stories, real stories of people, but I'll not use their names. So you'll never know who I'm talking about unless they are here and they will be like, mm, that's me. But I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. I don't expose people's things. But a scenario which has happened in real life can be um, can be references. Uh, just without mentioning the name and then you decide what you pick up from that. Okay, so as the title says, we are talking about shaming, societal shaming. I have experienced it, but I think I never sat down to really think it deeply like, what is these? I thought it was just things people said, you know, but when I look deeper, it it is not just people, it's not just things people say it's things people have been saying have been allowed to say and get away with it <laughs> let me repeat that again P things people have said we have allowed them to say these things to us and they have also let themselves say these things to other people and they were allowed to get away with it and i think we need to stop that by cultivating a different culture okay so I spoke about body shaming on one of my videos here. This is part of that societal uh, shaming. It's just this one, this, this video is just not specific to weight or body shaming. I have ex en endured a serious amount of shaming and I think you might have to, maybe you just didn't know what it is or you thought, well, that's just how life is or whatever. So what is societal shaming? My personal definition of the word or the term is when someone uses something probably or most likely in your life to make you feel ashamed and embarrassed about it. I'll give an example. For example, someone is making you feel ashamed that you live in a shack or that you don't use the latest phone or that you are not driving a car or the car you are driving is not up to your standard or <laughs> you haven't gotten the best hairstyle on the block or you didn't go with the trends or yeah. Now, look, I understand that people have eyes and they observe things. I also understand that we are coming from different houses, probably at your house or in your environment where you stay. It's quite okay to say these things to people. To me and those that think like me, it's in no way not okay. Not okay. It's not okay. I have spoken to several professionals 
who deal with the human mind it's also not okay because it affects people negatively in many times people think if they point out your flaws or what they think is not okay with you it will automatically push you to change that thing no it's not necessarily true it might uh, create what you call an angry motivation like i am so tired of people labeling me or calling me that i'm now gonna work hard just motivated probably to prove these people wrong or to one day show them like yeah i have abounded to this and that despite what you said to me but not everyone actually operates that way you find that someone you say all these things to someone and then they just lose themselves completely be it their self-esteem their confidence their drive or their sense of wealth someone can even begin feeling worthless and they might even self-harm or even try and kill themselves please everything is connected just watch what you say in your mouth we have our unemployed brothers and sisters in our houses né? now this person is already struggling with survival getting a decent job or any job to sustain themselves they obviously do not like the fact that they have to depend on you or someone else now you make it your business to always tell them you come here yeah some of you you are eating like that but it's not like you bring anything here knowing very well the person is not in any position to do that had they had a job maybe they would um moving on I think especially amongst literate people, I wouldn't say educated because I feel like it's people who can read and write, uh, some who have certificates and degrees, they feel a certain level of entitlement to people's lives. Like they feel like people owe them a certain level of think, okay, you are a teacher. I think by now you should have gotten married or you shouldn't be driving that Nissan much. Like you like the person is probably most highly likely celebrating buying their Nissan March. You come out from God knows where and you decide you don't get to drive a March because you are a teacher. Hmm. Why? Why? Why don't I get to drive a Nissan March? Oh, personally me, I've been attacked referencing my employer since i don't know who told them my employer pays people like i get paid a lot so i am supposed to be living in this town i am supposed to not live in katutura this is Vendokna. the side way is considered low income been living in katutura my whole life it's where i can afford but people choose to take my financial decision or a decision detected by my circumstances that I'm not willing to reveal to anyone so I can feel ashamed and I have to somehow get up and defend it. Look, you understand? Or for not having a house of your own. People are like, yeah, so you still rent or are you renting? Why? I think you qualify for your house. And this is not what Benson me. They are more than 50. And they can even say this, maybe 10% per day or per week. Very bravely, just in different forms. Someone is, after I'm celebrating, I can afford the roof over my head. They have decided they will come and dismantle that whole moment of joy and pride for me. Like, got a proud moment, can afford a roof over my head, which I couldn't back then. And tear it apart and say, no, this is nothing. You, ha you haven't done much. Why are you staying here? I think you must go buy a house in hours bleak. You qualify. What are we doing there? Please, someone tell me in the comment section. What are we doing there? And I'm not the only one. And particularly this, this video, actually, this part got inspired by someone who watches me. They watch my content and they they put it in their own word that just gave me an awakening. They asked me how I find confidence and courage to post where I am. 
I post where I am. I will not travel to another country to have a nice background. Um, and recently I traveled to my hometown as here, like as uh, black, as black children, especially from our background, like here, it's hectic for us. Ne? Like, I'm not even going to sugarcoat this. You have life. When you get a job, it's not automatic that your life is sorted. In fact, that may be the very beginning of your extra responsibilities. You're probably the only one with the income in the house. Everyone in the house depends on you. Uh, whether it's their medical bills, their food, living cost, whatever. If your house was made out of grass, and Ihati, it is your unspoken job to remove them if you want to upgrade it. There's no one that's coming. The government is not coming. No one is sending funds. Nothing. And this is a reality for many, many people. Yeah? Not just me. I'm in that category. And those people, if they're here, they'll probably not. Now, that's one. You are lucky if you work close to your house that you get to live in that house. If you have to leave that, we say migrate to urban areas to find job opportunity, it means you are going to absorb your other living costs of wherever you're going to migrate. Whether you choose to buy a house there, rent there, build a shed, illegally grab land, because that can also happen. This is a reality, ne? not sugarcoating anything. That is your cost. And in our country, the one place with the highest living cost is the capital city. It's where I am now. Ventuk. Here, housing generally is very expensive, whether it's to rent or to buy. Now, even those adults who understand what I'm saying here, they will still forget that very reality and make it their mission to make kids ashamed that they don't have this and that, they cannot afford this and that. Not just kids, even fellow adults, young adults, young professionals. So, to be honest, subconsciously, these things pushes people to just make decisions out of what people say. People uh, always telling you, ignore what they are saying, ignore what they are saying. It's not as easy as it sounds. Ne? Look, maybe today I will ignore you, tomorrow I will ignore you. The next month, I'm doubting myself. Maybe I'm really not doing enough. Maybe I'm really useless. Maybe I'm... And mind you, this is a responsible person. Even those that drink... Drinking is not equal to irresponsibility. People can drink in optimum doses. Unless you're really in another category that I cannot. Because this video is not about that. I'm just trying to give perspective. Look, because you look at yourself. No, I don't have a drinking problem. I cannot even say I've spent a thousand on alcohol or whatever. Because a thousand is also only a lot maybe to me. Some people have five thousand to drink. They can drink. But at the end of the day after that... They've maybe bought a car, put petrol in that car, bought rent, bought food, paid Wi-Fi. You know, mm -hmm. send money to the north, bought bricks, brick by brick. Because who has money to buy bricks enough for a building in one day? Not me. You know, like most of us are there, the ones that I know. So if you are not that one, I think this video is not for you and it's okay. For us that can relate to this, let's stay here and talk. Ne? It's the same thing. Every day you are constantly being shamed for being impregnated out of wedlock. Eh, in my language, there's this other ugly word. I know I'm a tikpa, dino kofap. Hey, Bala, did you hear that? I know I'm a tikpa, dino kofap. It's not as cute as it sounds. No, no, no. It's horrible. You just want to bury yourself. Eh? Some of our colleagues have succumbed to the peer pressure and the shaming and they've decided they'll settle down with anything that is ready to settle down. And that is not wise because you might be marrying someone who is completely wrong for you because you are just tired of people shaming you for not being married. I've also been told, even those that are married are now being shamed for either not giving birth, for not being sexy as before they were married, for not having enough kids, for having only one child. 
Jesus Christ, because I was like me in my mini head, you know, when I'm not yet. I was like, maybe one day when I get married, all this blah blah will stop. Mm -mm. The married people have commented on my content because I I post this on my social media. They have commented and said, my dear, here we are also suffering. What do you want from people, you guys? Hmm? What do you want from people? Situation shaming just needs to end, ne? Look, us people that have sense, we are tired of surviving or building resilience to survive people that don't want to have common sense, compassionate and basic consideration that other people are going through a lot. And part of that a lot shouldn't be another person coming at me with everything they've got. It's like those people attend a seminar so they can come and attack you. They all start hairstyle. Hmm. I've had a wig, a plastic wig because Mina, I don't think I can afford the genuine Brazilian yet. Have my own reasons, but also not sharing them because we must also have boundaries. Né? Not everything should be explained to you just because you don't understand it. It doesn't also mean it's a poor decision or it's not a good decision for that person. We have made peace with our realities and we have decided we will live within our means. First to raise my hands. I've become a life coach to help others realize that, that want to and live so that we can tear out this peer pressure and the shaming that we are getting from the other side. I'm not sure now the people that are dishing this out, if they've already sorted their lives or they just have so much time on their hands to come and dissect us. Please, we have a lot going on. Mental health battles. Hey, you go to work, hey, banner this. Work politics, eh? And a lot. How's your work environment? I'm just saying, it's there. This is not conclude what is happening. Just know. If you work, you know. Ah, you add financial crisis. You might even have some spiritual issues, ne? Hmm. The believers can say you have spiritual attacks, whatever it's being called. You go. It's also economic issues that you are fighting alone. Survival of the fittest. Everything is expensive now. Your financial stress will balloon if you have a house that you bought with financing from the bank. It's chowing with the repo rate, guys. Car bought with the bank. Repo rate. This repo rate did not just affect the borrowing things. It also affected the entire cost of living. Food, everything is expensive. Fuel, everything is expensive. So, really, a lot of people now are in an era of what they're saying, downgrading. You have to really revisit your spending and realize what is important. Now, I'm already in Katutura, where people don't think I should stay. And I realized maybe I should just downgrade to Havana. They will not allow me to breathe. That's the truth. But I know you'll say, don't mind them. There are days when I'm brave, but I don't mind them. And there are days where I just go in a dark hole and start blaming myself. Just by the fact that I'm working hard. You understand? Guys, life is hard. Why do you have people dedicating their lives to hardening other people's lives? Or if you didn't see it from this angle, what are you gathering at this point? Please, please, let's not do this to one another. Ne? And you know, it only gets easier ne? when you are getting affirmed. If you are the only person telling yourself what I did was right, you can believe it, but you really need a high dose of <laughs> confidence ne? and self-love and all these things that allow you to stand firm. Because one day you will crumble. Because... If you are just being strong. Yeah, just be strong. It's going to be okay. Ah, you've been strong for five, ten years. It's not getting okay. This becomes to sound like a total lie. Because you are praying your mini prayer there. And someone is dismantling every hope. And rushing you to have everything at once. If you have been fortunate enough to have everything. We're really happy for you. We, we like to use you as an example. Please share how you got there. But us here, like here, me, 
Mm -mm. I've been asked to give solutions that I said in my earlier video, I don't always have solutions. Sometimes I just express myself and seeing how many people are relating to me and how many people have experienced this. If, if, I'm sure I'm not the only one. This one, I'm 100% sure. It will be nice if you can share your experiences. So towards the end of, we are now going, hmm, because I, the girl's just preaching, preaching. Uh, yeah. Take the time, if this is your first time watching the video, take the time to go through my videos. You'll understand more where I'm coming from. I usually advocate for those things. But um, to use a practical example of this is, I have, a, I come from a humble home. You see, I'm stammering. I don't know how to call it, like, what is the exact word when you come from almost nothing? What What is the exact word? Because I think there's also a shaming in the background that people don't want us to admit like if i say i'm poor people are like no or you are insulting god or what but you haven't understood where i'm coming from you may think you know me by seeing what you see here but you you you, you only know what i put out here yeah you know like like i really come from humble home we are talking sometimes no food sometimes not even a ten dollars ten dollars is ten rents Namibian dollar is equivalent to one rand. So it, we are talking serious things here, you know. Um, so just saying that I'm from a humble home, I don't expect you to have a very big picture of, or a detailed picture of that. But um, like recently I said, there was someone who asked me where I get the confidence to share where I come from. I am not sure if I have total confidence or I've just been self-aware for so long that it has become a part of me. I'm not ashamed. My mother raised me, raised me to believe that people will never be the same. It's like the hands of these fingers and I've accepted it. I'm who I am. Of course, I'm not saying I'm not going to work hard. If you know me, you already know I work my ass off. Selling Herbalife, fully employed, hustling, hustling, starting a business after the other, you know, like the motion is there, but currently we haven't broken through that phase of where we are battling what we are battling. So here you're going to see this is our house right now. And I've actually posted it quite a few times, Facebook, everything. And now um, I was just asked, I, it really hit me like a wave, ne? why I am confident. I'm like, I have nothing to hide. This is where I come from. I'm not even doing it because I've never seen anyone being sponsors to say maybe we will get sponsorship. It's just me appreciating where I come from. It's where I come from. It's what made me who I am. Um, that small place sustained me from early childhood until my late 20s now. Uh, what, what do you want me to do? To travel to maybe Ondangwa CBD so I can post at a house that's not ours? I, I simply just don't operate that way. But uh, it, it just made me realize that because the person said they also wish they could post their house. I'm like, it should, it should, we shouldn't be afraid to do that because it's always, yeah, if you post something, you're inviting people. No, the person just posted. Where did you see the open invitation come and attack me or bully me or shame me? No, but when you post your fancy things, obviously don't expect anyone to bully you because you have fancy things. Now, uh, us without those fancy things, we must not have social media footprint. Is that what you're seeing? Are the creators of social media going to agree that social media was only designed for you guys that are better off or having nice things? Because sometimes you use it, like me, I'm using my background to inspire people, motivate people, encourage people. And this is why I know I'm not alone. I'm not making this video to talk to myself. I know for a fact they are real people with real stories. Not like mine, just stories. that It's not like a made-up story, like a real life story where you'll be like, ah, oh, let's hold hands, guys. We need to hold hands. Like me, I'm, I'm looking for a community of people we, where we can relate and lift each other up because I've seen that there's no lifting each other going on there's more of the shaming that i'm talking about every little thing is being criticized every little thing is being criticized to a point where you just want to bury yourself people wonder why like personally i'm not very social because i can't stand i walk in a room and the first thing i'm being asked is 
a wig or a latest phone or what is wrong <laughs> there are certain rooms where the first thing people ask is is, is, is life update on yeah uh, what you've been up to did you buy the car they will just ask them then have you bought a car have you bought a car yet what type of car is it oh it's not a, oh, you could have bought a mercedes at least like you i'm not i'm not making this up some have said it in person some have taken the courage to write it down and i'm like you typing this and you saw nothing wrong with it you just send it to someone eh? and while we are talking about shaming i should conclude with body shaming ah <laughs> eh, this is big and even now i think because of what have been said to me i've worked so hard on my body i've worked very hard on my body but because of maybe the traumatic experiences that lives in my head i'm still ashamed of posting some of my photos of my body when it's big because all i do is i take before photos i hide them and then only post once i have a smaller looking body which i think society will accept because also I mean i cannot i can't i can't I cannot take all that bashing, bashing, but I, I just want to I, I, I admit here that I'm still not 100% confident about posting my body out there. I'm challenging myself to do things that I'm afraid of. I'm busting, I'm pushing what you call, like, I want to push past my feet. Uh, what is this? I want to push past my limiting beliefs and fears because mostly when we don't do things it's just out of fear one of the big reason of what will people say all these things i've said is part of what people will say and since you have been hearing it probably since you're a child you just create a situation or a life where you don't need more of that whether it's by shying away whether it's by putting on hold things you want to do maybe you want to go to the beach you're not going because you feel like People will just point out your tummy the first thing they see you. You know, it's a lot, guys. It's a lot. If I continue, ne, I'll probably cry. I, <laughs> yeah, but situation shaming is real, man. It's, hmm. I don't even know how we got here. And it's us, the generation that's a way of kindness, so-called kindness, that are doing this. And then you preach, be kind. You're the very person telling people to be kind. You go out and say unkind thing, or it never occurs that what you're saying right now may be unkind. It's just a very messed up situation. I just wanted to speak on that. And yeah, please let me know. Have you experienced this shaming? Are you still experiencing it? And what do you think can be done besides encouraging the victim to just be strong and ignore things? Because that's not an actual solution it's like when you have an avoidance uh, coping mechanism like your only solution is to avoid situations you can always avoid the situation and it's also sad because you don't really go looking for that situation you just find yourself there and it kind of catches you off guard and just throws you off <sighs> yeah thank you if you're watching up until now Please let me know what must we talk about next time. And uh, yeah, Liv, what, what must we talk about? What must I talk about? And you can also give me your input. You can also let me if you want to feature on my video. So we can be here together. I want to talk alone now. This is our channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.